If you're interested in seeing the uh, major trends that they happen, the beginning of the trends, the direction of the market, if you have any questions regarding the uh, which way the direction of the stock market is going, where gold and silver are going, and where cryptocurrency and forex markets are heading, you can subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to see valuable content. You can refer back to my weekly analysis videos for a very good while and you'll see that we were able to see uh, forecast the crash in the different markets and we have been able to see uh, present different analysis in crude oil gold and silver quite successfully in today's video we are going to discuss all of these one by one if you are interested in seeing the timeline this is going to be the timeline the first part of analysis is going to be about the stock in the six we are going to discuss u.s indices that include nasdaq uh, Dow Jones S&P 500. This is uh, Britain, uh, Britain's British FTSE 100 index. Uh, this is for United Kingdom. Nifty 50, and then we have Nifty 50 is India's uh, stock index, and then we have DAX, which is Germany's index for stock market. Then we will discuss oil, crude oil. We will look at gold and silver after that we look at cryptocurrency and after we have done that in the last section we are going to look at the forex uh, which is going to be euro british pound and canadian dollar against us dollar so we can definitely add dxy uh, let's see if i can forget uh, remember that one we, once we get there so let's start with our analysis right over here too the, the the problem here is that not only the retail traders the retail traders definitely do not have a lot of study they have some good value of study but not a lot of study on the stock market all different theories exist in the market at one time one uh, trend is working the other time the other trend is working normally gold and silver are considered uh, hedge against inflation but nowadays as the inflation goes up gold and silver go down so they're working against in an in opposite direction and US dollar is working in the favor of inflation as if inflation goes up US dollar goes up if inflation goes down US dollar to goes down so all these things are not as we consider them these are basically trends all right one time one trend would exist one the other time the other trend would exist the job of an a trader is to find these trends and then benefit from those trends not when they are running out but before or very at the early stages of these trends and we try to do so by using different charts so let's see what uh, Nasdaq is doing uh, I told you guys that from my previous analysis I use a combination of Elliott wave analysis WD GAN analysis and some cycles uh, some Darwin theory uh, Darwin's uh, boxes and some banner cycles as well so combination all of all of them to see where the markets are heading uh, when we talk about cycles these are basically huge waves uh, of trends uh, you know all of a sudden the trend changes in 10 12 years then we have a trend that will exist in another 10 20 10 10 20 years within these trends are waves of trend within for example a trend will run for a couple of years and then will slow down and then we'll start again and then it will slow down and then we'll start again so all these are trends or waves you can call it different people use different um, words waves and cycles are used uh, almost interchangeably interchangeably uh, especially when you have discussed uh, when you have read two or more authors in it so as per my analysis we have already seen in the uh, the top in the stock market right over here back in november 2021 and from then we have been going down and down if you look at the market all we have seen as we have the seen the peak and then we have seen a low and then we've seen almost a double top but it's still lower than the previous top and then we definitely have seen a lower low which is much lower as compared to this one and a lower high which is compared to this one right over here and then we have seen another lower low right over here as compared to uh, the previous high uh, previous low this one or this one and then we have seen one higher over here this is basically uh, part of the this whole structure so basically you can say that we have seen a lower high low here instead of saying this one over here and then we have seen a lower high as compared to this one 
So if you look at the structure on its own, all we are seeing is a high and a low, and a lower high, and a lower low, and a lower high, giving us an indication that the trend is still strong on the bearish side. And that's what I'm going on with the point of view right now. I still believe that we're still bearish on the stock market index. My analysis of Elliott Wave analysis uh, and WDGAN analysis are definitely pointing towards that. I already made a forecast on Friday morning and uh, I think that was published about Thursday evening probably. And I mentioned it to you guys that the important point here is that we have completed wave 1 and 2, uh, 3 and 4 and we have probably completed wave 4 already. Uh, my analysis studies was giving me indication that August 4 was going to be an important date and then we have seen I believe a top either a top is already made or you're very very close to the top let's have a look on an hourly time frame see what's going on so we can see that first of all I gave this call we all although we have seen a bearish price movement from the NASDAQ let's have a look at a 15 minute chart it will probably show a better price movement but we still were not able to see some longer price behavior if you want to be a little more uh, conservative, the better way to do is wait for the break of horizontal. We already have seen uh, the break of uh, the, the inside trend line, which is very good thing. Uh, but I'm expecting right now that we have already probably seen the top right over here and we are going to continue downward and see a break of this bottom. You are mentioning probably saying that this bottom is quite a way. Yes, but we are looking for the top of wave fourth if this breaks right over here then we are going further down and I've told you guys that the bottom is expected till the middle of September this year so a month and a half trading is left uh, after we have seen the top and this is quite a big quite a big uh, price movement on its own as well so I'm still bearish on Nasdaq nothing has changed uh, as per Elliott wave analysis I believe that we have completed wave one and two three and four and five after we have completed the fifth wave, we are going to see good jump in, in the prices. There is a possibility we are going to go up over here. There is also a possibility we can definitely push the correction uh, to the top of wave 2. This is when we have seen the bottom. For now, I am bearish on NASDAQ clearly for next month and a half. We have a similar process going on in Dow Jones. We can clearly count wave 1 and 2. Wave 3 and 4, I have done some studies based on uh, Elliott Wave Analysis and WD GAN Analysis, all of these are pointing towards there is a very good possibility that we have seen a top right over here or at least we are very very close to the top and that's why the horizontal drop since we have already seen the prices jump up quite a bit from over here so we, it's a better idea to wait for the uh, uh, wait for the break of the, this horizontal support so there's very good chance either we have completed right over here we can definitely go up and come down right over here I'm going to for wait for the break of this horizontal support to take a position on the bearish side once again but again this study is telling us uh, WD GAN study is telling us that we are very very close to the top alright whether can we can create a new high there's a definitely possibility possibility for it we can also see that the price can actually continue back from over here so we will get a confirmation of the top once we see the break of horizontal bottom right over here too. S&P 500, we have a similar a similar process that we are structures that we have seeing in Nasdaq and Dow Jones. Uh, we need to wait for the break of 4,082 to make sure that we have seen a top. Once the top is occurred, I need to tell you that that top will be the top of wave four. Wave 4 would be ending over here and we can definitely uh, wait to see the prices further down, heading downward. A bottom in both S&P and Dow Jones is also expected to be around the middle of September. All of this information that I'm giving you guys comes from a combination process of Elliott Wave Analysis, WD GAN Analysis, Banner Cycles. So all of these, energy, um, uh, all of these studies are mixed together. FTSE has been quite uh, I would say reluctant to go down uh, we have seen uh, that the price index uh, should be going down but instead we keep on seeing deeper price action 
let's have a look on a daily time frame and see if you can actually figure out what's going on so as you guys can see FTSE is uh, behaving completely completely uh, different uh, we have seen a lot of weakness in Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P but FTSE kind of stays close very very close to the top right over here so I'm expecting that next week is going to be bearish for uh, FTSE and uh, let's see how things go right over here we definitely need to be a little more careful with FTSE giving us because right now uh, we have tried to give a call that but still we have not seen a break of horizontal support we can bring this horizontal support a little closer right over here in this region and I think this will be a better idea which is 7310 uh, once the prices drop below that we can safely consider that we have created a top right over here too I've already given you guys the indication that the advantage of using a confirmation signal is that we were expecting for FTSE to come down but I also gave a uh, indication of horizontal support and that horizontal support has not been broken once yet so if you were to wait and do a similar thing in Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P it, it won't hurt because the top I've seen time and again that it a lot of mistakes happen in finding the top so you need a good confirmation point that okay now the trend has changed that also brings the momentum behind the price action so we need to wait for the break of 7300 and once again I'm bearish on FTSE for next month month and a half let's have a look at nifty nothing has changed with the nifty I told you guys that we're expecting for the price to come down and that's still the same stays the same let's have a look on uh, daily time frame so you can actually see the labeling somewhat right over here I'm considering this whole price movement as wave 1 and this as price wave, wave 2 which is an A, wave B and wave C which is an expanded flat and then we have seen wave 3 and wave 4 which is quite deeper normally the wave 4 is shallower but in here in this case you can see that wave 4 is quite deeper so right now from over here we are expecting a bearish pr price movement in nifty 50 and I think that we probably have already seen the top but once again we need to see a confirmation of the top being happen for that we can use the horizontal support if the prices can actually come below 17,150 that will be a confirmation that we have seen a top right over here and that top would be important giving us an indication that we aren't going to go down for a good while maybe a month plus maybe a month uh, may maybe up to the middle of September so nifty has close relationship with US indices especially tops and bottoms although we have seen that it has been staying stronger as compared to US indices so I'm still bearish on nifty and I'm expecting that uh, once the top is figured out we are going to go further down downwards creating a major trend on the bearish side DAX however is uh, showing some weakness right over here too we have we can clearly see that weakness we have basically uh, right over here too so we can consider this whole price movement as wave 1 and 2 wave 3 and wave 4 and then we are heading into some sort of an ending diagonal that ending diagonal is diverging as you guys can see we have completed wave 1 right over here of an ending diagonal wave 2 wave 3 wave 4 and right now I'm expecting a bearish price movement in within a DAX so once again there is a possibility that we have created a top right over here too we need to see a break of 13,330 to give us a confirmation that we have seen a top I'm bearish on DAX as well and I already told you guys that I'm expecting a larger move downward probably lasting a month or so crude oil I hope that many of you guys were able to take advantage of uh, our analysis on crude oil crude oil was trading right over to top over, uh, over here at around at hundred dollars on last week when I gave an analysis that we're expecting it to go down and then we have seen a massive drop from going from eighty one hundred dollars to eighty five ish dollars uh, right now not eighty five dollar eighty six I think the bottom was created around eighty six forty two so we have seen prices come down and a pullback I'm expecting that we will see prices come down and we are to see a pullback if that pullback comes in this area we are definitely bearish right over here if it does not happen don't worry about it those people who are already in the trade shall actually manage the trade right now there is nothing in the crude oil that's actually indication that the change in trend is happening we are still bearish on crude oil 
we are gonna see bearish price action pull back bearish price action pull back bearish price action pull back bearish price action further down so a lot of price movement is expected to go on the bearish side in crude oil I'm still bearish for the next week on crude oil wait for the pullback if you're not in the trade if the pullback does not happen don't worry about it move to a different market just do not jump at this uh, at this place right over here to wait for a pullback if that pullback does not happen don't worry about it let's have a look on gold and silver a lot of people are uh, wondering right now I'm myself a very good fan of gold and silver the only problem here is that we can look at the daily time frame chart and the daily time time frame chart is only one showing one thing that we are strongly bearish the if you look at the trend from the top we have clearly seen bearish bearish price action and there is nothing that indicate that that trend has changed so we have bearish move a pullback another bear pull a move bearish move we have a pullback another bearish price move we have a pullback so what is to say that we are not going to move further down we are definitely moving further down when we are seeing some sort of uh, signals as well I was expecting that we were going to see some re uh, reversal on towards the bearish side and first we saw this and we we jumped back up again there's quite a possibility that we have seen a top right over here too but uh, to get a confirmation we definitely need to see a break of 1754 that will actually confirm that we have seen a top right over here too once that top is formed we are going to go down f in a larger move downward and that is expected to stay so for a month at least our large time analysis for gold and silver I gave you guys target about gold and silver we are expecting gold to create a bottom somewhere around 1560 ish right over here too that will be an important bottom to be formed right over here this comes at an important resistance point from previous structures on the chart so 1560 is an important target when the prices breaks in 1754 that's about almost hundred and ninety dollars from the top right over here we have definitely a bearish look for silver nothing has changed with that regard just look at the chart we have seen a top right over here too we saw completed this swing correction completed this swing correction and this swing is right now going on nothing has changed within that swing you want to count waves up to you right now if I'm completely looking at it as a technical analysis uh, traditional technical analyst a high move we have a bearish move correction bearish move correction bearish move correction so right now I'm bearish on uh, gold and silver on both and my target for silver is somewhere around the in the middle of 1260 to 121360 so I'm bearish on gold and silver and I'm expecting that silver is going to be bearish for next month and half let's uh, have a look at hourly time frame and to see a confirmation uh, or to see if we can actually find the the bottom right over here too so as you guys can see with gold we went up and created a new high with silver we did not do that so right now we can actually use this is the the particular uh, support right now all right and we can see that the prices have kind of found the support went up came down went up again we can actually if you want to be a little more sure about it this is the pattern uh, this was the low that's created from the pattern that actually started from over here you can definitely use this to confirm for a confirmation if you want to be using a trend line you can definitely draw a trend line right over here that trend line is quite uh, is not as uh, close to the price action as you should expect but that's how it is let's have a look at so you can say that the prices probably came on the previous uh, right over here area so if you want to wait for the break of this area this is also a good area I'm thinking that we already have created a top right over here too. A break of this low would actually confirm that that we have created because we have high, low, high, low, and once if we, let's say whatever we have correction pattern we have com completed over here, we fall below here. That will actually confirm because that prices would be coming from down from this important resistance point as well. So I'm bearish on gold and silver. I gave a call on Bitcoin. We were expecting for Bitcoin cryptocurrency to jump up or right over here. We have a lot of time. 
prices did not behave that way so I gave a call that um, okay prices bulls had chance uh, started from over here prices are were expected to go upward that did not happen bulls did not take advantage of that what does that mean that means that we should prepare for a confirmation on the downside right now whether the pattern is still going on in that regard we have seen definitely a top being made in the stock market so I do not want to risk a just because cryptocurrency is moving in a different direction instead what we can do we can actually get a confirmation of the reversal of the pattern and that confirmation can actually come from the break of the horizontal support right over here once prices get below 20,700 that will be a confirmation that we have seen a top right over here so that would m actually mean on that we are heading on a larger scale downward prices is to expect below further further down probably in this area 7000 ish area it definitely can come further down right now we do not have a method to give once prices actually start making new waves we can actually can uh, look at the data compare that to historical patterns and give a price pattern but uh, right now the break of 2000 20700 is very important I had a position in cryptocurrency I closed that position reason because I think we have already created a top in uh, Nasdaq, in Dow Jones, in S&P 500. So I do not want to go against the stock market. So I've come out of the, that bullish position. But I'm still not bearish on the chart. We need to get a confirmation of the break of the trend, which is this one right over here. So we need to get a confirmation of that trend before we can actually call for the bearish price movement. Similar thing goes for Ethereum. Let's have a look at Forex. We have euro right over here first of all i told you guys that we were expecting euro to compete on the bearish side and that's exactly has happened and this price was given on thursday evening that we had to turn bearish and then we have seen this one so quite interesting we can see that, that there is some support coming in handy on the trend line and i'm expecting that support will actually break on monday and we will continue our bearish side movement from over here so we can consider definitely this top to trade and put a stop loss beyond that and we can actually start trading on the bearish side i'm bearish on euro and british pound and canadian dollar for a good week in 10 days all right so for a good week in 10 days i'm bearish on uh, euro we can get confirmation once we see a break of the horizontal support if you want to be a little more conservative definitely wait for waiting for the horizontal support break is going to help you it will make you more confident in your trade and then you'll be able to stay in the trade we can definitely put a stop loss beyond this very important point right over here we can initial initialize the trade at this point and this will give us a bearish outlook somewhere probably around further around 99 0.99 or 0.98 we are going to go further down from parity parity has already happened we can see so we have to go further down in euro british pound we have already seen price section going uh, downwards we have seen the break of horizontal support and i'm still expecting that we are going to go further down in uh, british pound there it is so i'm bearish on this point right over here if you look at the trend we are still strongly bearish on the thing I think that the pullback is complete right now and we should have be heading downwards on British pound. <coughs> Sorry about that. Canadian dollar, the, ch the price is going to go up. Uh, this forecast was given on Thursday evening once again. You guys can refer back to my analysis. You don't have to take my word for it. We have seen a very good price movement. I told you guys that you were expecting bullish price movement and that has actually has happened i think that we'll continue our behavior bullish price movement for next week and a half so in the upper direction and we can definitely use for the prices to give us uh, to use our stop loss beyond that area and target is somewhere in this range right over here for canadian dollar i hope that you guys were able to uh, take benefit you i'll be able to provide some i was able to provide some clear cut trend analysis wish you good luck with your trading next week have a good one and bye bye